Hey guys, this is Brad with Traeger Grills. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about why your grill may not be lighting. There's three main causes. The first one is your hot rod is not heating up. The second one is your draft induction fan may not be spinning. And the third reason could be your auger is not feeding pellets to the fire pot. So the great thing about the hot rod, it's super easy. It either works or it doesn't work. The way that you can figure this out is by simply going into your grill. You're gonna remove the grill grate, the drip tray, and the heat baffle. You'll turn your grill on to the smoke setting. You'll place your hand over the fire pot a safe distance um, so you don't get your hand burnt, and feel if there's heat. If you feel heat, you know that your hot rod should be working properly. If your hot rod is not heating up, uh, I have a hot rod right here from the grill. Uh, likely you have some sort of wire damage. If you check near the hot rod right here, you can see um, any fraying of the wires or the connector that connects to your controller. If you see any damage there, it's likely that you need to replace your hot rod. The best way to get it replaced is either call 1-800-TRAGER to our customer service or go to our website and order one online. Another common reason why your grill may not be starting up properly is the draft induction fan is not working. Your fan is actually located underneath your hopper. Uh, it's, it's horizontal, so it's very easy to locate. It will also have an orange wire coming off of it. Sometimes the fan won't be spinning because you haven't used your grill for a little while. There's grease and dirt or sand built up on it. If you go down underneath your hopper and just give that fan a spin, uh, that will help get it going again. You need your fan with these grills because one, it stokes the fire, and two, it creates the convection inside the grill, which is ultimately what cooks your food. When you install parts inside your grill, wires may get crossed up underneath the fan, restricting it from spinning. If your wires are blocking the fan, grab a couple zip ties, find a few other wires that are underneath your grill from your other parts, zip tie them together and pull them out of the way your fan will be able to spin freely and you should be good to go. Your auger can also cause issues when it's not actually feeding pellets to the fire pot. This is the fuel for your fire. Without that, you're not gonna get any heat in your grill. The most common cause for an auger jam is going to be wet pellets. The pellets are extremely vulnerable to moisture. They'll expand rapidly and just kind of get held up inside the auger shaft, not allowing your auger to spin pellets into the fire pot. So we actually create a second video to show you how to clean that out in the event that your pellets get wet in your auger shaft. The auger motor is actually located in the hopper. It's a smaller fan and it's located vertically. If you see that it's not spinning, you know that there's something wrong with your motor. You can always go on to our website to purchase this at TraegerGrills.com or call 1-800-TRAEGER and talk to our customer service team. These are some of the most common causes for your grill to not be lighting up. Check out our other videos and be sure to register your grill on TraegerGrills.com. If you have any other questions, call 1-800-TRAEGER and speak to one of our customer service representatives.